this part of the server, of the server. First, we're going to start with the materials you need. You need a metal kit, the server, and the 2 gig stick of DDR2 RAM. I've chosen the Buffalo Select 2 gig uh, DDR2. Uh, we're going to begin by um, taking out our small Phillips and removing the top screw in the front bezel, then the bottom screw. Once we've done that, we want to switch the locking me mechanism to unlock and remove the front panel. This will reveal two screws, one on the left and another on the right. Remove these. Once you've done that, you can remove each hard drive bay, pull uh, directly up to remove these until you get to your last bay. Uh, this will reveal uh, a couple things. One is the hard drive mount at the back, and then the top button here will release uh, the cover on the top. Push this in and slide up, and that will, re will uh, reveal two screws. You can either tighten, or sorry, untighten or remove these. I've chosen to remove them completely, and then remove the cables. There are three cables there. Detach each one. Now once you've done this, put it on its back and gently slide it up and out of the motherboard. Once you've done this, you can pull it up right up to the top, through the top rather, and then this releases the mother uh, motherboard and power supply combo. This is what it looks like. You can see the RAM is circled there. And this is what it will look like closer up. You can now see all the pieces we've removed, the hard drives, toolkit, uh, motherboard, chassis, etc. And we want to remove the RAM, try to be grounded as not to damage the RAM. This is what was in it, 512. And we'll be replacing it with 2 gigabytes. Since there is only one slot, we want to do a maximum of 2 gigs. And just go ahead and install that into the single slot. You can then slide this back into the chassis, place the cover back on, and tighten the screws. The top one first, and the bottom one second. Now if you have problems shutting the front bezel, it's because these two little flaps are on the outside. Make sure those are on the inside. Replace the motherboard, or mother drive, uh, sorry, hard drive tray. Make sure it's in the slots, otherwise it won't work. Plug in your cables again. Make sure those are all tightened. The screws at the top replaced, tightened. Put the top cover back on to hide those. And put your hard drives back into the slots. Tighten everything up, make sure it's all latched in and then change the unlock to the lock position and there you go that's how to upgrade your server from one gig or sorry half a gig to two gigs DDR2 now you can go ahead and uh, do all your add-ins and rock on